தி ஹிந்து எடிட்டோரியல் டிக்டேஷன் ஃபைவ் செகண்ட்ஸ் கமெண்ட்ஸ் அண்டர் மைனிங் ஜஸ்டிஸ் தி கவர்மெண்ட் மஸ்ட் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் தி அன்யூஷுவல் டிலே இன் ஃபில்லிங் அப் வேகன்சிஸ் இன் கோர்ட்ஸ் ட்ரிபியூனல்ஸ் இட் வாஸ் ஓன்லி எ மேட்டர் ஆஃப் டைம் பிஃபோர் தி கான்ட்ரவர்சி ஓவர் தி யூனியன் கவர்மெண்ட் டிலே இன் ஜுடிஷியல் அப்பாயின்மெண்ட்ஸ் ஹிட் தி ஹெட்லைன்ஸ் அகைன் In recent days, the Supreme Court has voiced concern over the government's lackadaisical attitude towards the large number of vacancies in high courts and tribunals. Chief Justice of India, N.V. Ramana, confronted the government with a list of 240 vacancies in various tribunals. He asked rather bluntly whether there was a plan to close down some tribunals. Many tribunals lack presiding officers and the recommendations made by selection committees have not been acted upon. The vacancies in high courts are at a staggering 455 as on August 1. It appears that exhortations from the courts and even a judicial order from the top court in April fixing time frames for the intelligence bureau and the government to process names forwarded by the collegium for making appointments to the high courts or returning files and for accepting names reiterated by the judges body has not imparted a sense of urgency a two judge bench has noted that the center's delay in making appointments to the high courts in adversely affecting the adjudication of commercial disputes The judiciary's concern over the vacancies in the tribunals is quite justified as the jurisdiction previously exercised by high courts is now being exercised by the tribunals and the failure to adjudicate or dispose of disputes in these fields would amount to denial of justice to the parties. The present regime's eagerness to undermine the independent functioning of tribunals is quite apparent. It has been repeatedly framing rules that seek to provide for greater executive control over the tenure, emoluments and the conditions of service of those manning the tribunals. If specialization, domain expertise and a relatively quicker adjudication are the reasons for which certain kinds of disputes are being resolved through tribunals these purposes are lost if these bodies are rendered nearly dysfunctional through a large number of vacancies to compound the problem the union government has been inexplicably reluctant to create a national body for overseeing the work related to the appointment of members on tribunals as well as the appraisal of their functioning as far as higher judiciary appointments are concerned there is little to enlighten the public on what is causing the delay whether it is a dispute over the undoubtedly problematic memorandum of procedure or the desire of the executive to subject the collegium recommendations to its own political scrutiny is not clear in any case the delay is causing great harm to india's justice delivery system